I'm extremely proud of our team and how they fought today. Obviously, the outcome was not what we wanted, um, but I thought we competed the entire time. We forced South Carolina into turnovers, didn't convert those the way we needed to. Um, had some good looks, ran some really good stuff. Sometimes the shot went in, sometimes it didn't, but really proud of our fight and our effort, and I think that it shows what our team is capable of with a full roster. I think we're an NCAA tournament team. We came here and took care of business yesterday and um, competed really well with the number one team in the country. South Carolina obviously is very, very good, and I thought we stayed in it and gave them a hard fight. And so um, I think that's something that speaks for itself when we have our, our full roster together and, you know, having India back and what we could be capable of doing the way we're playing right now. Um, I think that's something that we've got to obviously the committee needs to take a look at. Um, I think we're in still tournament team. Questions for Aisha Kulabali. Here in the front, Gabriella. Big night tonight. Um, what went well for you? And can you describe a little bit of the energy of the team? It seemed like you and Janiya particularly really had a lot of energy. Um, I think, like the coach said, we came and fight the whole night. We had a fight for 40 minutes, and we just stayed composed and take our time and do what we do well. And I think it worked out best for us tonight, me and Janaya. We just, you know, not force any shot. We're a team and be selfless, and it worked out. Another one for Gabrielle, and then we'll go to Pete. A um, lot of energy, but also a lot of opposing energy got real loud in there. How do you stay centered, stay calm when a lot of people are going against you? I mean, we knew it was in South Carolina, and they're going to have a cry wherever they go. And we just stayed composed and not let them dictate our game and, you know, just play, be louder than them on the court, whatever we do. And I think we did a great job on that today. Pete? Pete Yacobelli, Associated Press. What did you guys do to be able to frustrate South Carolina at times like you did? That hasn't happened very much during the season. Uh, I think that's what we do. Like Coach said, our full roster is back, and we know what we're capable of. And tonight we didn't come to lose, and we came to fight to win the ball game. Every night we just got to be ready, and I think we can just carry on into that and into the NCAA tournament. And I think we, we are a pretty good team to make it as well. Another one in front? Nah. Um, Janaya said something to me yesterday about how this team is really good at, you know, kind of bringing the energy in March and bringing kind of a new level of energy. And she said something, you know, wish we could do it throughout the whole season. Do you agree with that? And why do you think the team really tick, um, goes into a new gear in March? Uh, I do agree with it. We have a lot of talent. And I feel like right now, as you see today, we, we're able to put it together. And it's, it's coming in, you know. And I just feel like we're like really, our chemistry is really good right now. And we just got to build off of that. Any other questions for AC? All right, AC, you can be dismissed back to the locker room. Thank you. Now we'll take questions for Coach. Pete? Joni, what did you see there in that first quarter where you guys were able to kind of frustrate them a little bit and then they kind of played through it and pushed the lead out? What, yeah. How did you see that? Um, so, obviously, you're talking about the first quarter. They had 10 turnovers in the first quarter. Listen, South Carolina is really, really good. And if you let them pass and catch and get shots and do what they want, like, it's, it's just going to be a long night for you. So we needed to dictate and disrupt. That's who we are. That's who we try to be defensively. But we were just really um, on high alert in that area and needed to be able to dictate tempo. And I think it rushed them a little bit and forced them into some turnovers. And obviously, they settled in. And the second quarter went on an 11-2 run. Our offense got stagnant. We got some shots, some good looks, and it just didn't go in. Um, and then we're able to regroup at halftime a little bit. Gabriella? Same question as Rasha. You know, Jai talking about this team brings a new level of March. Obviously, last SEC tournament, y'all did great. Um, do you agree with that? And also, how do you bring that consistency throughout the whole year? Well, I think part of it is staying healthy. You know, um, even before India got hurt, Janiya misses three games with a concussion, and we have someone else miss a game. Two other people, MJ and, and Soleil, miss games with concussions. And here's, here's the thing, Gabrielle. We're still a young team. You know, we've doubled our win total from last year. Um, last year, we learned how to play. And this year, it's learning how to win. And so when you're learning how to win and you haven't been in those situations, you're going to have some up and downs. And what our goal was always was to peak at the right time. And I think that's our goal every single year. And we did that last year, and we're doing it again this year. Um, but we, we're taking the steps that we want to take as a program and, and moving in the right direction in year two. 
another one here. Um, what are you telling your team now, knowing that there may be a you know a tournament run, and also the recent bracketology has y'all up against Vanderbilt potentially? So what would be the impact of playing another SEC team that you know? Um, so obviously we only can control what we can control, and that was to come here and win a game and show well, and we've done that, and that's the conversation we've had. And now it's for us to go back and and get off our feet, stay sharp, um, be smart about the decisions we make, and and sit down Sunday night and and, and see what happens. Pete. Joni, I wanted to ask uh, kind of an off-topic question. We're seeing a lot of freshmen uh, in, in this game play really well yeah. this season. It's kind of amazing and unusual. I mean, do you see it that way as well that, you know, it's this is an unusual? And why do you think they, there are so many skilled freshmen coming into this game? Well, I think it's women's basketball. You know, in my opinion, you, Brianna Stewart was a skilled freshman. So was Diana Taurasi. So was Tamika Ketchens and Holtzclaw. I mean, it's just now there's more eyes on our game than ever before. So, you know, Malaysia, Juju, like whoever we're talking about, um, they are outstanding freshmen, but so are those players. I think now the difference is our game has grown. There's more eyes on it, so more people recognize it as what it is. Any other questions for Coach Taylor? Oh, one in the back. Mac Poss, WNET, Tacoa, Georgia. Joni. Yes, uh, Mac. <clears throat> the transfer portal. You work so hard just to recruit. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you see the blend, or is there an end to the blend? <laughs> Mac, number one, it's good to see you. I miss you. Um, I don't see an end to the blend. I, don't, I think the transfer portal is here to stay. Um, I, I think that everyone attacks the transfer portal differently, and you have to do what's best for your program. We obviously have gone into the portal, and the portal has been very good to us, but there's, there's rules and there's different things that we look at when we're talking about taking a player out of the portal. And, and for us, it's got to be someone who is committed to doing um, – and hold, upholding the standard that is Texas A&M women's basketball. And that's got to be most important, not themselves or not other things that are out there. And, and so the portal's here to stay. The portal's been really good to us. We, we also have been very selective about who we go recruit out of the portal. And I think what's really important for us is that we still have been able to recruit really good high school players. And so we want a mix of both. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.